Okay, what I'm doing today is I'm um, animating some bubbles. So we've got three frames for each of them, and we're going to be rotating through those. So let's bring them in. Okay, first thing we'll do is set their size and position. So let's bring that out here and bring it down quite a bit. And let's get our medium size. Have to bring that down quite a bit as well. Something like that seems nice. Okay, so the way we're going to animate it is to tr turn the transparency on and off um, as it goes through each of the frames. So let's bring all this back. And now we're going to hit T for opacity. And we click the stopwatch to start our animation. Now we want them all to start. We're only going to have one at the uh, per each cycle. And we'll do a cycle for about three frames. Yep. Okay. Another three frames. Set another keyframe. And one last one at the end. Okay, so let's start with the number ones, frame ones, and we'll set their opacity to 100, and again at the beginning, now we move to the second one, and get our number twos, and turn up their opacity, and number threes. So now, at the moment, it's like doing a transition thing. We want it to actually stay on that frame for the entire duration. So what we do is get all the keyframes, toggle hold keyframe, and now it's going to hold that keyframe until there's another change. Now what we want is this to loop at the moment, and we've only got the first section of it. What we're going to do is use an expression to um, loop that over and over for us. So I'll make this a bit bigger for what we can do. And the expression we're going to use is one called loop out. So loop out. So now we just do that for each of these. And done. Okay, let's. Okay, if we play now, we can see it's those three animation cycles going over and over. Right now, what we want to do is um, bring back our stampede. Let's just. Um, close all that for now. Bring our stampede up here. And what we want is it to be uh, lumen mapped. So we can turn off the actual frames there. And if we duplicate this twice, there we go. All right, the next thing we're going to do is um, make these bubbles have a bit of color. So I'm just going to select them all, go effect tint, and we're just going to pick one of these dusty colors there. And now they're colored as well. Okay, so if we go back to our shot, okay, we just have to fix the position up a bit. Something like that. 
Right, and now you'll notice the borders are quite sharp here, whereas with this one, it's got like a, a flowing blur effect. So we're just going to do that for our one by duplicating it, let's put it underneath. I'm going to scale it just slightly, so 102%. And now we just use a Gaussian blur. Give it a big value like 43. Now we have a nice edge effect to the port bubble.